Hi, I'm Steve Shaughnessy, and welcome back to the Popular Woodworking Shop and episode three of our 1944 Unisaw restoration project. Today, we're going to work on the exterior of the saw, cleaning up those surfaces, making them look nice. So, let's get started. I've already removed the base of the cabinet and the floor. I did that because in trying to clean these surfaces, which are very rough, you really can't get down in there. So I've decided to repaint the base and because this has some rust on it, we're going to prime it at least two. Now, before I can paint the base, I had to clean it. So good old scrub brush and in this case, I'm using a solution of simple green. That'll cut the grease and we'll get rid of all the crud. I've already cleaned it, so now it's time to spray. To get some paint, I made a trip to the automotive store today. You know, at those stores, you have a lot more color options than you would at your local hardware or paint supplier. And the other good thing is that these paints are made to work with metal. And this, of course, is a gray primer that I'm going to first apply. So here's the bottom panel from the cabinet. You can see it's got some rust in here, and I want to get that cleaned up and spray it with primer. Now, the other side, as you'll see, I've already sanded. Looks ready to go now. So <clears throat> I just went over this with 120 grit sandpaper and a random orbit sander. Cleans it up quick as a whistle. So now that we got this side cleaned up, and I've wiped it down with a damp cloth just to pick up any dust on there. I'm going to go ahead and give it a coat of primer. So now let's go back to the base here. The primer is plenty dry, so let's put our top coat on. I hope this works out beautifully. I think it's a nice gray that will work well with the original Delta color. So here we have the saw cabinet. Of course the base has been removed, but it's turned on its side. You can see that I've already cleaned up this surface. It's not perfect, but it's the finish I want. Now, I have some more cleaning to do, and I want to tell you how I've gone about doing that. Let me explain the process here that we've used to uh, clean up the, what you've already seen so far. I have in this little bucket a solution of nothing more than water with just a few drops of dish soap added. What that does is provide a lubricant so that when I sand using a wet dry sandpaper, in this case I'm using 400, uh, the, the dirt and the crud and the paint, the little bit of paint I'll take off, doesn't get clogged in the grit. Wet sanding this metal is much like what you do if you were wet sanding a finish. If you haven't tried that yet, it can produce spectacular results. In this case, even though the finished paint will have a smoother feel than it did probably when it came from the factory, what I'm really doing is taking away a lot of the dirt that's built up over the 65 years this saw has been around. Now, if you're worried a little bit about sanding through the paint, which you might do, you could substitute a 600 grit sandpaper for this 400. It won't cut quite as fast, and it might take a little longer, but you'll get the same result. So you can see here that I'm actually picking up some of the paint. So I don't want to sand too much further. This area up here is probably about done now. I want to wipe off what we've got to get a better idea of where we are here. You can go back and pick up trouble spots later. Now, just Look at that difference there. That's amazing. Now it still looks like it could be done sanded a little more up this way. So let's go ahead and do that. 
I'm going to add a little more water with that soap in it. And then just sand this area a bit more. Sometime when that paints down into the orange peel of the finish, which there is a little bit here, you got to sand that orange peel down to get to the dirt that's in the little valleys created by that orange peel. And that should be about good enough. I think we're there. Now we'll move down here and do this section. And this side will be done. You can tell by the color of that that it's some paint, but it's also a lot of dirt. Let's see where we are. You can still see there are some areas here that could be cleaned up, but other than that, I think we're about there. Now, I've already started working on this front rail. You remember, it's the rail that the fence attaches to. It's very discolored in many ways. It's still smooth, but I wanted to clean it up and shine it up a little bit. You can see right here, I've already gone to work on this part. So now let me show you how I've done it. It's really very simple. All I'm using is 120 grit dry sanding paper this time. This is just regular old sanding. I'm not pressing very hard at all. And actually, I'm creating a grain direction with the sandpaper. So I want to go with the length. I don't want to go this way. I think it would look strange. But you can see with very little effort, it cleans up very quickly, just taking that old tarnish and oxidation off.